Hey guys, this is Lester here with Let's Draw Some Stuff, okay? And uh, it's getting to be that time of year, uh, by which I mean uh, Halloween. And so I thought that I would draw a ghost and teach you guys how to do that too. So the first thing you need to know um, with ghosts is that they're the spirits of dead people. Um, so for that you're going to need to draw a person and I've already prepared one that we can use and okay so you open up your drawing program and ghosts are usually transparent because they're um, dead and uh, they don't eat as much so you select your paintbrush tool or actually let's go for pencil and the trick here is to make it transparent, which is tricky with a lot of programs. So what you do is you go here and you do this and you do this. And after you're done with that, you, um, yeah, that's probably good. So you start with a general outline of the head. Actually, let's use a paintbrush. So yeah, you, you draw the general outline of the head and most people have kind of an oblong shaped head um, which means it's kind of like the big rectangle but kind of rounder and you make sure you get the curvature there it doesn't have to be exact because um, they've probably rot a little bit after they died you know like their their face changes shape a little bit um, with, with whoever you're drawing um, just keep that in mind you know don't be too hard on yourself Got the hair outline there. Got the ear. Okay, so you've got the basic head of them, and now you start drawing details like the chin. So in this case, and it goes like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really looking forward to Halloween myself because. Um, you know, that's when you can just go... I mean, like, like you can talk to people, but you don't have to worry about it as much because you're wearing a mask or a costume or so, some sort of thing like that. Like, it, it's not, like, everyday thing. I mean, I'd like it if everyday was Halloween. Like, don't get me wrong. But it's different from most days. So yours should look something like this by now. Let's see, got a nose, nostril, and mouth. And the curvature of the ear. is ghostly shoulders and a terrifying ghostly hand reaching up from the depths to drag you down and pull you down to hell. Or heck, heck, excuse me. And he only has three fingers because he's a ghost. Okay, so once you're done with that, you know, I don't make him wear chains or something. Yeah, that's what will we'll change the suit into chains because he's a ghost. And actually, if you want an, an extra spooky detail, um, just like with Little's No Extra, you know, extra difficulty, you can erase the nose because when people die, their nose decays. And what you can do instead is draw some kind of ghostly nose holes like a skeleton. So you can just be like. Alright, now to color it, you want to go for a kind of a light, mysterious blue. Ugh. Um, just, you know, to get across, like, hey, this is a ghost, you know, watch out. And, um, maybe some, draw some spook lines coming off of him, like in the old stories. 
get the transparency up there. Make ma make them green, actually. Yeah, and you know, yeah, kind of mysterious brush here, just radiating spookiness. And the great thing about these pictures is you can also reuse them for Dia de los Muertos because that's the next day after Halloween. And there is your ghost. Um, so if you maybe make a pumpkin with this design, just like also carve in the bottom like inspired by a uh, YouTube channel. Let's draw some stuff, okay? Um, Something like that, you know, just get get the word out. You know, be fair, people, be fair. And um, I hope you guys have a good Halloween.